Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to load images from memory using DirectX 9 in IMGUI. We've already done this video in the past, but with uh, DirectX 11, and I got some requests to do it for DirectX 9, which is a bit of a different approach. Not so different, but a bit. Anyways, this will allow you to render textures directly from byte arrays, as you might already know. So it makes it perfect for loading images on the fly without relying on external files. Without further ado, like, subscribe and let's get right into it. So I've created here a new example, Win32 on DirectX 9. This has nothing of our previous tutorials. It's a clean, clean build, as you can see here. And uh, we are going to implement everything from zero. So here, make sure you have D3D9 or uh, .h included. If you don't, make sure to include it. And you also need to have uh, D3DX9.h. Uh, so these are the two you need, obviously MJ as well, depending on where you want to include it. Now we first need to convert the image to a byte array and place it in a uh, file in a separate file. You can also place it in your main file, but the byte array is so large that uh, it will make things very chaotic. So uh, we're just going to go to sources here, add new item and add the um, header file, either HPP or just H. We're going to say image uh, dot H. Why not? Add here. And now we need to get the bytes of our image. I have this image right here. We're going to use I don't know if uh, I should give credit to anybody for this, but anyways, we're gonna use this image here. It's a random image I searched on the internet. I think it works with PNGs, JPGs, JPEG, all the big file extensions, uh, but you can test it yourself. Anyways, uh, you're gonna need the app uh, HXD, which you're gonna have in the description. I'll leave it to you if, if you don't have it already. And all you have to do is open this up and then drag your image into it. You're going to see a lot of gibberish, let's say, for you. It doesn't really matter that because uh, you don't need anything from here. All you have to do is go File, Export, and then See here. This will export it as a CRA. Let's put it in Downloads and just say Image Test. See, it doesn't really matter. After you've done that, you can close this, delete the image, you don't need it anymore. As you know, we're going to load it from memory, not from a file. So anyways, we're going to open our C with Notepad or whatever you want, our C array. Let me drag this here. And yeah, these are the bytes. You can copy everything down to the bottom. And after you copy it, you can close it and go back to your project. Here, what you're going to do is create a unsigned char. Call it image data or however you want. You don't need to specify the size. You'll get the size later. And now we're going to add our bytes here. Something like this. And it should be all right. So now we have the image data here in bytes. So we are ready to get to the coding part, I'd say. It's not very hard, we're gonna make a very cool function, let's say. Anyways, so uh, let's create it before the int main of the code. So we'll do it here. Uh, let's name our function. We should make it as a texture. It's not gonna be a void function, and I think it's just gonna be the texture directly so let's say i direct texture actually i think it's direct 3d texture the names are very chaotic as well start and let's name it load texture from memory we're gonna need to get a i direct 3d device so i direct 3 device 9 actually and name it device after that we need a const unsigned char this will be the image data uh, I think you can name it the same 
it shouldn't really matter. And then we need the image size. So we're gonna do a size underscore T image size. This is the arguments we're gonna take to our function. Uh, it should be enough. So let's not forget to include our image.h file because we're gonna need that data. So include, and here we're gonna type image.h. This should be right. Uh, if you've created it in sources, then this should be the path directly. You shouldn't have to type any path. Anyways, for now, let's set the texture inside this to null. So I direct 3D texture uh, 9. Let's create a texture and set it to null pointer for now. And uh, we need some info as well. So D3 dx image underscore info info now that we've done this we need the h result which is perfect let's say so let's just do h result hr equals to another complicating thing d3 dx create texture from and you see file blah 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 we also have from file in memory x very long function here we're gonna open it like this so we can type the things one after the other now as you can see this is a fair but a bit more simple than with directx11 where we had to include another uh, third party library here we can do this directly with directx9 so this is a uh, nice i'd say anyways first argument will be the device we created followed by the image data and the image size which we're gonna late uh, which we're gonna get later when we actually call the function then we're gonna have the width and the height so we're gonna use d3dx default for this uh both of them like this copy paste it again and then for MIP levels, we're also going to do default as well. Uh, for usage, we're going to type 0. And then we're going to go to format, memory pool, and filter. So uh, be careful here. The format will be T3D uh, FMT from format. And we're going to put unknown. So you can use anything. For memory pool, we're gonna set it to manage. So D3D pool um, managed like this. Managed. And I think for filter, we're gonna type default as well. For filter and MIP filter, uh, it should work just fine. So let's type default and default. And after that, the color key is set to zero as well. No impact on that. Then we have the src info palette and pp texture so the info we use the info we created here which we haven't filled yet anyway so we're just going to type info uh then for the palette just type null and then okay don't forget here to do this okay and uh, after that we're gonna link the texture as well and this is it for now so for this function this is it now we're gonna do one more thing this is for debugging purposes let's say also i'm gonna leave this code in the description if you want to just paste it have it ready if you don't want to follow the tutorial here we'll um leave something for debugging it will help so if let's do if failed and uh, hr obviously our h result here to create the memory so if it does fail here you can see out something or do a message box let's do a message box so you can see it you don't always have the console open uh first argument no don't really care and after that underscore t to format the message and let's say something uh, like failed to create texture from memory after that the this was a text the caption now um something like error still need to format it with underscore t and then buttons or type i guess and be okay 
this is the message box and after this one we're gonna return no ptr if this fails and if it doesn't fail then we're just gonna return the texture we've created inside this function so this is the function to load the texture from memory it's incredibly simple and now all we have to do is literally show it now you can show it directly where you want you don't need to create a new window for it um but i will actually show you how to do it in a separate window and in a separate function so we can do a void function separately name it render image and uh, take only one argument we're gonna do the direct 3d device so i direct 3d device 9 star and then device open it and we're gonna do a static this time i think static is perfect i direct 3d texture 9 and then texture texture equals and here we're gonna use the function we've done here so load texture from memory and we're gonna fill it with our arguments so we're gonna do first of all device we need a device from here after that we're gonna go image data which we have um, inside our image.h here we're talking about this one the raw data and after now we need the size and we can just do size of image data and this will automatically get the size all right so this is now uh, how we've used the function we've after this line we've loaded hopefully we've loaded the image successfully we're gonna do a check one last check to see so if no texture we're just gonna do something like i'm gui text fail to load texture obviously this is just some simple debugging as a status it doesn't really tell you what went wrong and where but if there is a texture we're gonna display the texture so i'm gui let's do a new window you don't have to do this if you want to do it in a window you already have created i'm going to create a new one just to show you image from memory why not we begin then we let's end it actually i'm gui and and in between we're gonna put our image so i'm gui image uh here we're gonna have our texture like this and if you have any types problems just type void star before it depends on your version after that you're gonna get a vector so i'm gonna do i'm vec for the image size we're gonna use i'm vec 2 and you're gonna get and put the size of the image now i know the image is 300 by 300 so i'm just gonna type that but usually just type the size that you want make sure it's smaller or equal to the image and for the best results obviously use the same aspect ratio if the, Im if the image is a square then go with a square resolution or whatever you know what i mean anyways after we've done this there's really not much to do all right so now we go into our loop here into our window we can do it right after the demo window why not so make sure you aren't in another window because we start a separated window and uh, all you have to do now is render image to our void here and for the device you're going to use our directx9 device which should be g underscore e d 3d device you should already have it and this is literally it now let's see our results if we've done everything correctly and i hope i remembered everything uh, but this should be it uh let's see this okay so if you get an error like this uh unresolved external from the load texture from memory it's most likely because you're missing a library so first thing you can try is go here where it says example winter 2 blah, blah, the name of your project go to properties go to linker and then go to input and here where it says Additional libraries, as you can see, you already have d3d9.lib, but you're also gonna press, uh, you're also gonna type d3 
3dx9.tulip. You're gonna click OK, and after that, you're gonna click Apply. And now let's try to do it again. All right, problem solved. So why it doesn't work? <laughs> because you need to go to properties here. What I've told you is all right. Just make sure you are in the uh, configuration you are currently trying to debug in. I was on debug and I've made changes to the release configuration. So if you're trying on debug or release, make sure you choose the correct configuration. I've chosen debug off camera, included the D3DX9 lib here as well hit apply and after that let's see our results right now bam tada we have our little uh, poorly drawn chicken here obviously you can do any image instead of this one but i just wanted to show you that it works and it works very nice anyways this was how to load an image from memory i hope this tutorial will help you i hope you learned something new today and uh I hope I helped the guy which asked for it. I think it was a YouTube comment or a text in the Discord. I don't really remember. But thank you guys for watching. If you've come this far, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.